and we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 60 kilogram Japan tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium. In the second gymnasium, we have a 70 kilogram fight here for you. In the red corner, Shintaro Matsukura taking on in the blue, Kazuya Akimoto. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross Riley. Let's get into the breakdown. So, Matsukuru, uh, so that's killed that name, um, is 178 centimeters tall. He's two centimeters taller than these man, but he's a year younger, 24. Let's see and how that plays out. Right. Well, and real interesting because these guys have actually faced off before three years ago with Matsukura uh, winning by KO in that matchup. Matsukura won by KO. Wow, so we've got a little bit of repeat or revenge here, haven't we? Yes, meaning that Akimoto is going to want to uh, get in there and do some damage early on. Beautiful lead kick, just, just catching Akimoto high there. Yeah, Matsukura real relaxed. Akimoto um, just looking a little bit tight in his movement. Um, could be just a bit of a feel out process. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's, he's looking a little bit too set down there, don't you? A little bit too square. Yeah, just a little bit tight. You can see his position is gone. He's holding his arms. It just seems like he's holding a little bit of tension. But it looks like he just wants to get in close and uh, throw some knees and hooks. Yeah, he landed some big bombs there. and Got a good jab. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's see what happens here. Well, and Matsukura needs to make sure um, that he's not too relaxed on the outside. It does seem like Akimoto's got some strong knees there. Skuru is looking very relaxed though. Look at the way his arms are down there and his posture. He's just uh, in his rhythm. He's got a little tape deck playing. Oosh. Nice left kick. Wow. These guys are really throwing the heat right off the bat. I would like to see Akimoto get a little bit more of a jab going, to be completely honest. Relying on closing the distance and just trying to land bombs. Well, Akimoto's doing a good job um, of, you know, I, I would imagine a fighter like Matsukura probably doesn't want to use all his energy right off the bat. He wants to stay calm, he wants to establish some range. But Akimoto is forcing his hand and just moving in there and forcing him to exchanges and use that energy. Matsukura has just moved to the south pole stance there. I don't think that was a good idea. Look at the knee he just took. Yeah, great knees. And, you know, I, I would imagine Akimoto probably wants to make this just a little bit ugly. Yeah, he's be in his to, favor. Well, he's a phone booth brawler. Look, he wants it in close. And he just wants to swing for the hills. And he is. Yeah, and these guys like this, you know, they're frustrating to fight because you've got to use a lot of energy. you got to push. you got to move. You can't just be in a nice, relaxed sort of tit-for-tat rhythm. You know, Matsukura is in this corner way too long. He should be revolving out away from the power hand of Akimoto, but he's happy to sit there and he's going to provide Aki, um, that school, you know, opportunity, but he's going to get caught. Yeah, Akimoto is, um, he, I think he's probably aware I'm going to eat some shots, but it's all for the purpose of getting inside so I can let these knees and uppercuts and hooks go. And he's really making it work for him well here. He is, and for you're right. It's all about the uppercuts, the hooks, and the knees, isn't it? He's looking for one thing, one thing only. Yeah, well, Matsukura, his best strikes are at that long range. You know, long mid kick, a nice, pretty long one, too. But Akimoto doesn't care. His shots don't have to be pretty, they just have to be effective. And he knows where he needs to be effective, and that's on the inside. 100%, that's it. And Matsukura, he's got to move. If he wants to hit that long game, fine. I think it's the best tactic for him. But he's got to move. Can't allow himself to be pinned down, but his footwork is not matching the tactic. Well, he looked great at the beginning of that round, but you know what? He's getting roped into a fight here that he doesn't want. Absolutely. I would say Akimoto's hairdo is growing on me here. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's just some impressive workmanship there. Yeah, you know, I, I hate to fight guys like Akimoto, but I love to cheer for them because they don't always look the prettiest or the smoothest, Simba! but they take the fight where they want. They drag you into that deep Simba! water, and they can make someone Simba! who's got real clean, pretty technique look a lot worse than they really are. They love a gun on you, and if they can drag you down to their level, they're going to do it. Well, you can see Matsukura, good-looking guy here, probably poster boy for the 70-kilogram um, division here, and Akimoto with the cheetah hair, <laughs> wanting to roll in there. Not the prettiest, but 
man, is he, he, he'll get in there and he'll do his work. I like that description, the cheetah hair. I like that. Or an ocelot? I don't know. I don't even know what an ocelot is, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what his hair looks like. You're using those words again that we don't know the meaning of, boy. <laughs> it's that dictionary of yours. Cheeky. Cheeky. Now look at this. Look. That's... Oh, he, he, if Shintaro is going to use these long and rangey tactics, he's got to move when Akimoto yeah. closes that range. Well, and what you would see from Matsukura, you know, if he was doing it more textbook, would be jabs, front kicks, jabs, front kicks, followed up with the left near the left kick. But you're not seeing a lot of jabs or front kicks. You're just seeing the mid kick, which Akimoto can eat and then return. And he's happy to eat. He's completely happy. I mean, you can see there on the body of uh, Akimoto, just on the right side, he's beginning to redden up a little bit. But it's, you know, you know, I'm, I'm loving the work from Matt Skura just down to that side of his body, but it's, it's not stopping him. It's not stopping him. He's got to move. Well, I can just imagine, you know, with Akimoto, with just being, a, you know, he's a little tense, not, not you know, not as clean and pretty as uh, Matsukura, but no doubt he's been here before. He's had to fight good technical guys, and he's all right with it. And he knows what to do. He needs to just make it dirty. He's I, backing off a little bit here. He just needs to get back in there and throw those knees and uppercuts. Absolutely, absolutely. But what he has switched up is he's doing some body work. Yeah, and you can, you can clearly see, yes, he, he's red on the right side of his body, Akimoto, but that's not stopping him. Yeah. And that's gotta be, be quite a blow Matt Skura because he's going to be feeling, come on, I've done a lot of work there. You've not slowed down. You're still putting the pressure on me. Yeah, when you get a tough, awkward guy who just knows what they need to do, they've been hammered on in the past, they're not afraid of it. It is, it is, it's demoralizing. Akimoto was just doing a lap of the ring there. Um, obviously, he's searching for an angle. And, um, and here he goes again. Maybe he's found it. Yeah, and you know, he doesn't give Matsukuda any freebies. He's always returning with a low kick. He's always throwing some, some shots in there. You know, he's, he's, he's doing his work. He really is doing his work. And Pushing here he forward, goes. taking the steam off the end of the strikes from Matsukuda, and there's not much of an answer. No. Matsukuda, as you said, he's good at mid-range, and then he just seems to have no answers. Um, and right now, Akimoto is where he wants to be. He's in close, making it ugly. Yeah, yeah, really uncomfortable, really awkward. And it's just totally throwing Matsukuda out of his rhythm. And he looks tired, too. He does. He really does. I mean, you can clearly see, you know, Akimoto. I don't know what kind of liver he's got, but he's behind Kavalar because he's taken a lot of hits down there and he's done nothing to slow him down. No, he's absorbing him, and, um, you know, that's taking energy away from Matsukura, and then he's just in his face. That's just mentally, it's physically exhausting. You just are contending with someone right in your grill. That's it, Matsukura just wants to ping him and create some distance and just have a nice, easy night. Akimoto's got other plans. He's not there just to be stopped. He's coming forward. No, no, and if he can keep this up in the next round, he, he can win this thing. Honestly, yeah, I think the momentum's on his side going into the, into the final round. I think if you're looking at the cleaner, more precise work, yeah, okay, Matt, yeah, you're going to look in his direction. But if you're going to look for the most heart and basically the most work, the volume, yeah. it's coming from Akimoto. And right yeah. now, I think that's showing more. And, you know, so much of this Yassi! match, Matsukuda's kind of slumped against the ropes, where he's pushed on his back foot, he's having his clues to survive. He needs to highlight his skill set more. That's so the judges can see it. That's such a good way of putting it, guys. Such a good way. And in this you know, third or final round, it's never going to be more important. Look at this. Look at this. Playing at the mid range is there. Akimoto just biting at the bit to try and get that range. Hanging his arm out, trying to get an angle. Yeah, Akimoto's still just looking as tight and comfortable as he was in the beginning of the first round. But he makes it work for him. His heart is just tight. His arms are there to block. He just gets out of the way of the shot. Throws a few, pushes back. And he doesn't give Matsukura any room. I love the way Akimoto uses same side combinations. Look at that. He does the right to the body and then straight up into the uppercut. And it's not inflicting a ton of damage, but it just wears you down. It really does. And the judges are seeing this. Each time Mascura's head just snaps a little bit, it's telling. 
Yep, and then Matsuko trying to create some room there, doing a little head movement, but he's right back. put is right in his face. That's it. Here we go. Now, I'm liking the way Matsuko is trying to do a little bit of head movement there, just tucking his torso, trying to cover up a little bit more. Yeah, look, he's eating uppercuts, yeah. and he's trying to stay out of the way of them. But Akimoto keeps coming. Yep, he's pushing into that range he wants to be in, and then just stuffing uppercuts right down the, right from below underneath. <laughs> it's so rare to see, all oh, nice spinning technique. It's so rare to see so many uppercuts, one thrown, but two land in a fight. Yes. Ooh, Matsukura changing up there with the knee. Well, it's surprising how little answer Matsukura has at this range, but, you know, he's just getting stuff. I think, you know, he, he, he's clearly like a bunny in headlights right now. He's bewildered. Um, his game plan didn't work, and he hasn't, hasn't got a plan B or C. Yeah, well, and, and I can't really, you know, he, he sticks to the basics, he keeps his hands up, they look tight and uncomfortable, but he's blocking a lot of shots with them. He's got his elbows kind of out, but that means if you throw a bad body shot, you're going to punch the elbow, or you might knee the elbow. It's just uncomfortable. He's just... <laughs> it just does a lot of things that are really frustrating. <laughs> I think he is a definition of awkward. Yes. Oh, a good kick there. Wow. Oh, okay. Matt Scudder coming to life here and getting some good shots in there, unresponded to. And that's when he needed them. He needs him right now. He's yes. getting his last 30 seconds. He's got to make an argument of this. And then Akimoto just right back, right back in the trenches. He just keeps coming forward, this man. He's like, he's like a Terminator. Yes. Ooh, nice overhand from uh, Matt Scooter with right, but once again, Akimoto's got him against the ropes, doing what he wants to do. Yeah. Not giving any room, just blasting away. Ooh, referee's going to have to come in on this one. Fair enough. Last little exchange. He's just still on him. It's just awkward and uncomfortable, and now we've got a bunch of blood coming out of the nose. A uh, possible cut in the forehead of uh, Akimoto. Once he put that training gear, that was it. He just kept steaming forward. It's not all about, you know, having great technique, and looking awesome, and being a great athlete. There is just, there's a tenacity to fight. Anyone who gets in there and grinds it out, a cornered rat can fight. You know? Absolutely. As long as the fight is in you, you can be dangerous. That's it. They've both got hands, they've both got legs, and they've both got heart. Polish skills versus sheer unadulterated aggression. Yeah. Akimoto, man, he's been here before. I'm sure he did, did a great job. I can only imagine what's good is just wondering, like, what the heck is happening? Well, he's done everything correct to try and keep Akimoto from doing what he's doing. He did it anyway. Well, you know, no surprises there for me. Yeah. And we have it. It was enough. It wasn't pretty. It was not pretty at all. No, no. The, the man from Taiwan came here, made an ugly fight. And um, all the work he's been doing in the Silver Wolf has paid off. Mm -hmm. the guy there. You know, these guys showing each other respect. And I'm sure Matsukuda is feeling a lot of frustration, but that is the game. That is how it goes, and that's why it's so interesting. You cannot read a book by its cover. I think Matsukuda is going to go back to his try hard gym and go, okay, where did he get those nerve endings from? Yes. That don't seem to respond to what most people do. You can sometimes just be tough enough and tenacious enough and get it done. Absolutely. Absolutely. He was game, and it paid off. Look, he's got this trophy in his hands now. Wow. There it is. He gets a big win in the big arena, the big stage, K1. Well, there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan, K1 60 kilogram Japan tournament. We will see you next time.